Welcome back guys. I got the four wheeler trailer and uh, well side by side trailer in the back of the side by side filled up with a bunch of cedar sawmill cutoffs. So one of the great things about scrap cedar is it makes great kindling. I got that all cut up loaded up here and going to take it back to the house and get her thrown inside for the winter so we have nice dry kindling all winter. Um, also what's going on at the farm uh, you may or may not see back behind me there we have started I shouldn't say we because I'm not doing any of it this year but the corn silage for the farm has started this year my dad and two uncles are doing that last year I helped out but this year it just so happens that the corn that we are harvesting is right beside where we are piling it so that uh, cuts down on the transportation a great deal last year it was way at the back of the farm so we needed two people to transport the wagons back and forth the whole time this year since it's right beside it my one uncle can handle just uh, bringing the wagons over himself but anyways I thought it would be a good opportunity for me just to show you how that's done so I'll uh, kind of take you around through the process of how they do that and hopefully you find that interesting so I wasn't around yesterday and they've already got this field done and this is the other field that they're working on today. It's a bit bigger so I don't think they're going to get it all done today but probably within two days. And you can kind of see over there my uncle and the John Deere, that's where we're piling it all. But first we're going to head out into this field where my dad's uh, chopping this all up and uh, see how it all starts. All right, so I'll just take you guys around for a full round. I'm following my uncle ahead of us right here, right now. He's got one of the uh, empty wagons. He's gonna take it out to my dad, who's filling up another one of them, and they'll kind of switch and he'll bring the full one back. So let's go catch up with dad. So my uncle just caught up with dad here. Dad uh, looks like he's already got the other wagon full. So what they're gonna do is unhook my uncle from the wagon on the left and they'll basically just switch tractors. So my uncle will grab the full one, my dad will grab the empty one. Then my uh, dad will continue cutting up all this corn here. My uncle will take the full one back. So the harvester that my dad has, it uh, does two rows of corn at a time. I know that's not much compared to a combine, but you have to remember we are grinding up the entirety of the corn stalk, the cobs, the green matter, everything all at once. So it takes a lot of horsepower to do that. Um, there are machines that do more than two rows at a time, but uh, for the tractors we have here at the farm and uh, for the amount that we do, two rows is uh, good enough for us. And since I'm just standing around here doing nothing, I imagine my dad would uh, appreciate me hooking this uh, wagon up for him. Apologies in advance, this gets very loud. Uh, it's quite the machine, so I'll try to give you a good shot of it. Try to get up here ahead of them because that's the best view.
Okay, that's that part of the operation. Let's go grab my buggy and I'll see if I can whip down and catch the other end of the operation before they're done down there. unloading it and as it comes out he'll just drive ahead and kind of spread it out on top of the the pile and uh, behind there is my uncle Ronnie and the John Deere and uh, he stays here and try, like makes this pile so he basically spreads it out and drives over it back and forth with the tractor as much as possible just try to pack it down as much as possible because this is a lot of silage that they're bringing over here and you don't want the uh, pile getting out of control if you can help it so just try to drive over it as much as possible pack it down as much as possible and then when they're all done there's a great big tarp that we have that'll cover it all So it looks like my dad's already filled up the other one, so he's brought it back and just dumped it there. So as soon as Uncle Dave's done uh, unloading here, I'm sure dad will just hook onto this wagon and Uncle Dave can grab the full one and continue spreading it out on the pile here. And in case anybody was wondering, this is cattle feed for our cattle throughout the winter. Um, what you do is um, in the winter, it's all under a tarp. So you kind of just open up the tarp a bit scoop up a bucket with the tractor or a lot of buckets in our case and take them all back to the cows wherever they are uh, we have feeders that you can put this in and it's just like a nice extra supplement on top of hay and sorghum that we feed them um, this is also this isn't the same kind of corn you would eat or it's not the same kind of corn that uh, you harvest with a combine even it is a specific type of corn meant for doing this with don't ask me what the difference is. I'm not that much of an expert, but I do know that it is different and you definitely don't want to walk out in there, pick a cob and uh, boil it up for supper. So uh, just thought that might be interesting. So at the moment, my uncles, two uncles are going to hook this wagon up. It's just with a tractor, it's so much easier to have somebody uh, drop the pin in for you. So Again, since I'm basically just standing around doing nothing except videotaping them, I guess I'll try to give my dad a hand here with this one.
that's basically what it looks like. You can probably tell, but there's, you know, lots of little pieces of corn, pieces of the cob, and just all the green leafy stuff too, so lots in there for the cows to eat. Anyways guys, I think that just takes you about through one full round of the whole process. Uh, my uncle just drive back and forth across this till my other uncle gets back with the next wagon and they'll do it all over again and probably do that till dark tonight, I'm assuming. Hopefully between today and tomorrow they can get that all done and that gives the cattle a lot more uh, feed for the winter so we know that they'll be nice and healthy all the way throughout the winter. Anyways guys, like I was saying, I got my own stuff to do today. Uh, I gotta get this kindling inside so we can stay warm this winter. Just thought you might be interested in seeing how we go about making this corn silage for the cows. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.